Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the REN Network and my team, the Chubb Realty Group, we're brokered by eXp Realty. And today we're here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage to talk Hello. about the different levels of pre-qualification, pre-approval, or pre-commitment. So Jason, take us away. What's the difference between the three? Oh, uh, <laughs> the loaded question. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, well, I mean- Because everybody says pre-approval. Pre-approval. Well, that's- I'm pre-approved. That's what you need. You need a pre-approval, and the difference is, a pre-qualification is essentially showing my age here a little bit, but that's kind of old school. It's what we did in, in, in the beginning before the credit market really started contracting right. over the past five to 10 years. Uh, Pre-qual was like, hey, I'm just calling about this house. What's your rate? What's your name? Maybe verify a credit score or something, but we wouldn't collect any documents or anything. So right. essentially, everyone, including yourself and realtors, determined that essentially that wasn't really worth the paper it's written on, gotcha. especially in a competitive yeah. market, right? So essentially, that's just, oh, let's just call it off the board. Sometimes someone will slip and call it a pre-qual. Hey, right. you're bringing pre-qual. Essentially, they mean pre-approved. So you have to get pre-approved in, in, in order so to buy No heavier lifting. Market. For pre no, 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 not really. Okay. No, 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 no. I mean, it's essentially again online application takes about 10, 12 minutes. No verification. No, we ask for a pay stub or something like that, but and that's down the line. But I mean, we do it pretty quickly online, um, and we get it done quickly. So, so pre qualification, pre approval. What's the difference? Pre qual is basically no verification at all. Mm -hmm. We don't verify anything. We just have a quick conversation. Right. Um, but, but to be quite honest with you, Jeff, I mean, I don't think any of us now really issue anything on a pre qual because it's just. If they're not ready to move to pre-approval, it's just like, hey, let's stay in contact. I'm happy to work with you. Right. But there's nothing to see here, right? It, 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 because there's, not, there's nothing to see here. They're not going to be able to see homes. They're not going to be able to work with a good realtor like yourself. So it's just, and we try to explain that obviously quickly to them and make them understand why they need to pre-approve. Not in a pressure sense, but just, hey, let me explain to you why this is the starting point. That's gone away and you need to be basically essentially certified with a pre-approval. Okay, so, but what do I need to give you in order to become an actual true pre-approved buyer? You would need to go on to my online application. Like right. I said earlier, take about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna say, Jeff, oh, you're a W-2 employee. Okay, great, I just need a pay stub or two and a copy of your last year's W-2. And that's really, that's, that's the difference it. between pre-qualification pre and pre-approval. Because now I verified your income. Through okay. the application, I verified And you pulled credit. credit, right. I pulled oh, credit in, yeah. in conjunction with that, and then on the application, you've listed your assets. So I have the big three, right? Which is right. job stability, credit score, and down payment. Those are important. And that's all I need. You know, obviously, if I feel like there's something going on there, we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive and ask some questions and help the consumer. But other than that, if everything looks good, boom, here's your letter. You're, you're ready to go. So something new. And it's because the market's just uh, True. pretty crazy. So pre-commitment. Pre Talk to me a little bit about what we're doing here with pre-commitments and why they're so important. It's pretty It's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. I mean, what, what, what we're doing is essentially we're... I don't want to get into the details of a whole mortgage commitment, but obviously once you buy a house or go to purchase and sale, you have that date, which is called a contingency date or a commitment date, and that's when your loan has to be 100% approved, right. all set, ready to go. Your deposit is no longer at risk. It's 100% guaranteed. So what we're trying to do is kind of take that piece earlier and basically just really, really certify the borrower. So we're taking those pay stubs, those bank statements, that credit report, and we're submitting it up to underwriting before they buy a house. So that way they truly are pre-committed and pre-certified. So they're walking around with a certified commitment letter. And the only thing we'll be subject to is obviously buying a home. Right. Uh, and then in conjunction, the appraisal would be the last big piece that anyone would feel uncomfortable with as far as uh, moving forward and being aggressive, as you know, which is the biggest thing that you can talk about right. in this community really competitive market. So perfect. So we have pre-qualification, lowest barrier of entry, if you will. Yeah. We have pre-approval, which is kind of our normal, hey, I'm pre-approved, let's go look at some houses. That's the heart and soul. That's and the heart. then uh, we have the pre-commitment, like, hey, this market's so crazy, I'm just looking for a little extra advantage over other buyers where an agent like myself gets to really stress to the other party, like, hey, these guys are awesome and ready to go. Like, they are more secure than your pre-approved buyers. So, True. so those are your three ways in order to uh, get, well, approved from a mortgage aspect um, and help you, for the buying process and, and help you really go see houses and be more competitive. So should you have any questions about those three things, um, reach out to Jason Bonarigo. Uh, yep. Jason, what's your phone number? 617-413-5038. Uh, and you know, ultimately reach out to him, ha you know, answer the questions. He'll, he'll answer the questions, ask the questions. No pressure. Um, no pressure. You know, you never have to sign up for, for pre -approved. By the way, no pressure, right? So if, if I get pre-approved with you, do I have to use you as a mortgage lender? Yes. No, <laughs> no, you don't. I, right. I mean, of course, we prefer that, but no, of course not. I'm right. here to help you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to 
basically educate you through the process uh, right. uh, and make you feel comfortable. Truly no pressure is no, really no, what it comes I, down I, to. You know why, Jeff, guys, I learned early on in my career that I don't like it when people do that to me. Right. I've been on the other side of it, whether, you know, whatever it is, if you're buying a car or something like that. So I learned pretty early on that I was going to do that to my consumers, and I would like to think it worked out pretty well for me. Yeah. So. Why wouldn't they reach out to you, right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and if you have any questions in regards to uh, home buying, Feel free to reach out to my team and I, Jeffrey Chubb and the Chubb Realty Group. You can reach us at 617-480-2600 or uh, visit us online at www.boston2.com. Thanks for watching. Let either of us know should you have any questions and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.